in this video. There we are. Lost the lanyard for it. Where's the lanyard gone? The walkers. Warning, in this video is strobe flashing lighting. The battery powered torch. We all generally rely on them, especially me in here in a workshop shed that's not got the best wiring, shall we say. And as winter's drawing in, dark nights are drawing in, if my electric fails or trips out, then the lights go out. So I leave the torch near the doors. And I take my dog on a walk at night, so it comes in handy. There is my torch. Not the best one, but it's done the job up to now. Wuben, W-U-B-E-N, sent me two torches. Not being paid, so I can say whatever I like about them. Hello, sheddies, and you join me again in my shed. Let's get straight to it and see how good these torches are. One of them looks very bright. So here they are. I think what I'll do first of all, I've already opened this one. As you can see, I've not opened it very well. But let's take this one out. This is a small torch. We'll get it all open. I'll read up on it and I'll immediately come back to you. There's a nice one. Look at that. Little clip on there. Let's go into more detail when I read the instructions. Charger lead, wrist strap, extra grommets by the looks of it, or seals, the instructions. And I've already taken out the little lip for the battery so you can start using it. It's called the Wuben C3. Much nicer box. I've pulled the seals back, but I've not actually opened it. So let's take that one off. Nicely does it. Nice box, this one. And it opens up like so. That must be the instructions in there. It is nicely packed. The flashlight is locked by default. Click the switch four times to unlock it. There's the torch itself. Oh, look at the colour of that. Look how dinky it is. So that's that. I think it's waterproof as well. Now, this is interesting. It's like a lanyard, but also it's the charger, I believe. Click that out there. I've done a little bit of research on it. Looks like a USB to a USB-C. Put that back in there for the minute. Wuben. And this, we'll come on to that in a moment. First of all, let me read up on it and I'll be back to you. Okay, so I've been studying the instructions a bit. Let's just quickly go through them. So this one, I'll just give it a zap of charge as well. Comes with the USB lead. This is the C3. As you can see on there, it tells you to pull the tab out for the battery, which I've done. So we'll just take that off. Lost the lanyard for it. Where's the lanyard gone? A little tiny one. That one's for that one. Aha! I left it in my desk. Here's the lanyard that comes with Ruben C3. Let's put that in now. We might as well. Pull it back on itself. Lovely. So it calls it a lanyard. I call it a wrist strap. There we go. So we're not going to lose it in a hurry. It comes with a belt clip, as you can see on there. It actually clips off from that side. You just pull it off or we'll leave it on for the time being. It's got a little rubber cap there for the USB C. So if you're charging it up, it plugs in there. And then you can plug it into any USB device to charge it. Stick that rubber piece back in. The bulb itself is a P9 LED pearl. And then to turn it on, press the button at the back there. And that's whatever setting it was at last. Now, if we press it without clicking it, we can go through the stages. So, where are we at there? Okay, if you notice there, the green lights on. Every time I change the brightness of the torch, it comes on for a few seconds, then goes off. That tells me that it's charged up. If it was flashing, it's on its way out. If it's red, it's even further down. And then flashing red, it's ready to charge. And below is set in the minute, that's eco. And then we've got low, medium, and then high. That's the brightest. Brightest there, that's 1200 lumens. We're going to try this out in the dark in a minute, but I just wanted to show you first of all. It's bright, that, isn't it? Blah! Wow. And if we click it, it clicks off. Brings it back on again, but every setting we had it at last time. When it's charging, it's on red, and when it's fully charged, it's green. And then we'll put it onto the lowest setting, eco. Bit of a warning, the next one is the flashing light feature or the strobe feature or SOS. So if that's no good for you, then uh, click off now. So if we turn it on, and then we double click it without clicking it all the way in, there's the strobe. If we do it three times, we'll get the SOS signal. 
So there's a strobe. You guys are no better than me. Is that the SOS signal? <laughs> there we go. And then obviously to stop, to press it again and back to a normal torch. Nice rubber button that. Feels nice on the hand. And apparently it's made from hard anodized aviation grade aluminium. Light, compact, good if you're going walking, mountaineering, hunting, emergency use, if your electrics go in your house, or looking around an engine of a car, maybe. And I say it's dark nights now, so anything you need to do outside the house, you go walk into the shed or putting the bins out, or just looking for something behind a cupboard. That happens a lot in my shed. <laughs> or in my case, I was using it to read the instructions. <laughs> or if you're going into the loft or the attic space, Hunting around. I normally put these in my mouth when I'm using it hands free. I mean, clip it on your belt or your pocket or put the lanyard on. Nice. Apparently, it's got an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. So, we need to try that. In the snow, in the rain, frozen, can be ran over by a truck, apparently. Everyday carry EDC. Or what I'm going to do is put it on the doors of the shed. So, the highest setting is 1200 lumens, medium 400, low 80 lumens and the Eco 5 lumens. Strove is 1200 lumens, and the SOS is 200. At high, the battery lasts at 2.5 hours. At medium, three and a half hours. Low, 20 hours. And at Eco, 143 hours. The light's up 179 meters away. We need to try that. It takes three hours to charge up fully, and apparently at two meters deep, it can last an hour in Eco, Strobe, and SOS underwater. I think I've covered everything on it, but if you want to check out more, go onto the link on the description. It's on Amazon or off the Woovin site. I'll put the UK Amazon and the US Amazon link on there. But currently this is at £21.59. And I think if you've got the Prime, you've got an extra 10% off. And just check for the offers. Put the link below. All right, next. So this one is called the X2. Now, slightly different, but this goes up to 2,500 lumens. Now, if you look underneath here, we've got a little catch, and this is where you charge it up. Oh, turned it on. Let's turn it off for a minute. So underneath there, we've got a little catch, and that's where the USB-C is for charging up. And it's little two little magnetic pieces there to hold that in place. If you look under there, there's a little LED. When it's red, it's charging, and when it's charged, it goes blue. That's a nice action, that is. That lid is actually the button to turn it on, so... It's so the lowest setting. And then to, to up this, you keep your finger on it. So going through the stages. Now that's low, medium, and high, but then there's also like a turbo. For that, we press it twice. Whoa, look at that. And on this one, slightly different on the controls. So we turn that off, pressing the button. Now if we want to put it into lock mode, press it four times. One, two, three, four. There we are, it thrashes three times to say it's locked. So now if we press it, nothing's gonna happen. If we have it in a pocket or whatever, we don't want it turning on until we press it four times again. So one, two, three, four. There we are, up and back and running. So we go through the settings, keep your finger on it. One, two, three. So one, one, two, three. And then the turbo is the double click. Oh, that's beast. Can't wait to try this. It's not dark yet, it will be shortly. Try this out in the dark in a field. I need to take the dog for a walk. So this is called the Wuburn X2, aircraft grade aluminium or aluminum. To read more about it, it's on the Amazon link I'll put below. And it's showing at 49.99 at the moment and 15% off, I think if you're on Prime, but check it out on the link. Fully charged, it takes two and a half hours. The battery is 2000 milliamp hour. And it also comes with this. So if you don't want to draw attention to yourself, it's like a red silicon. Put this over the top. Say if you're in a tent somewhere or whatever, you want a bit of light, but you don't want to draw attention to yourself and it sort of diffuser. Put that on there. There we go. So we can sort of read in the dark or set up a fire in the dark or whatever in the dark. If we're camping. Cool, blimey. That's a bit too much. But yeah, be good in a tent. Not going to draw too much attention with that. Just how warm it gets at turbo or the high setting. Let's turn that off for a second. Yeah, warm around here. 
not scolding of course just warm clip on the back which can be taken off two little screws on there you notice all these indents and recesses it said it's for a better grip but also um adapting sort of clamps to it or whatever at the moment it's got the clip on the back so you can slot it onto a pocket slot it onto a belt maybe a rucksack loop or something slot it in like that onto a cap or whatever i suppose we can make things for these it's so light as well fits nicely in the hand slot in the pocket without too much problem yeah i can't wait to see how bright it is sos on there as well and it's got the strobe setting this has got an impact resistance of one meter apparently if you look it on their site or on amazon there's loads of other torches on there as well on the lanyard it's got the usb and the usb-c for charging it but also i didn't notice it earlier but it's got a tape measure on it as well if you need it up to 80 centimeters got this clip here and goes click let's put that on here shall we Just notice it's got a little hook on the end to take the lanyard off there we go let's put that in there there we are nice lovely and we can chuck that round our neck and then we've got the charger when we need it normal torches are obviously cylindrical um i know some of them have got like a hex shape so they don't roll around but these you just plonk it on somewhere plonk it upright impact resistant just drop it from a meter we're about 650 mil away from the deck it's a bit dent <laughs> yeah, i suppose we ought to test it on concrete or tarmac really do I want to do that? It does say a metre though. What does a metre mean? Does it mean on soft ground? Or does it mean on concrete or tarmac? Don't know if I mentioned, but again, it's waterproof. Use it underwater. So I think we need to go and try these out in the dark. 2,500 lumen, 1,200 lumen. Slightly different colour between the two. Three LEDs in it. That's got one. Right, let's go and take them outside. So I'm using my iPhone at the minute to film the outside of my shed. And I'm trying to keep my voice down. <laughs> And it's got the uh, light on the iPhone as well. So let's just turn that off. If we turn it on, first, oh, that's the lowest. Next one up. Wow. And trees up there. And that's the highest setting. Oh, that's well illuminated. Right, let's go for the turbo. Look at that. My own trees are probably about 40 meters away. See in the distance there. But yeah. That is bright. Isn't it typical? You start filming and some house alarm goes off. This is the other torch, the C3. It's the lowest setting. Next one, next one, and the brightest. And there's them trees in the background. Let's go and try it on the field. Plane going by. Typical. All I need now is a dog to start barking. I bet they can see this from up there. I don't want to shine it up there. <laughs> The walkers. So I went to the recreational field up the road and there's light pollution, so it doesn't look as effective as it actually is. People in the background doing football training and playing football, so there's a lot of sound in the background, hence why I'm doing a voiceover. In the flesh, it does illuminate that field well. And as usual, I normally miss things out on my videos, so if you want to add anything, please put them in the comments below. It helps me and others. Cheers. So I did a drop test on both torches, one at one meter and one at 1.5 meters. Back in the shed, there's no scuffs or scratches on it after dropping it. Very impressive, still works. Same with the X2, there might be a little nick there, nothing to write home about. Yeah, but still works, all good. So thanks for moving for sending me those torches, they'll come in very handy. And for everyone else, if you use the word shed on their website, I think you can get 10% discount. So what do you think of the Wuben torches? Put your comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're new here, subscribe. I've got loads more videos to come. I'm going to put a link to all my tool reviews here somewhere. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep calm and head to the shed. Cheers. See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.